my crotch. Age 36. Gender male. Home big dreary castle over the cave. Occupation mad scientist. Multiple times mad scientists have tried to take over the earth. All have failed. That is until you stepped into the picture. All your life you've been made fun of. It's not your fault. Your name is my crotch. Darn your parents. Anyway, as a Mr. Roch, the slightly saner mad scientist, you must invent several devices. These mechanical things are the keys to world domination. But you must have the supplies to do this. You suspect that all this stuff is in your lab. It's all a matter of actually finding and combining the right items. This is my life as a mad scientist. This was made by Aussie Evil and released in 2003. Um, apparently this was a, uh, a ZZT game converted to Megazooks, as far as I can understand it. I don't know why this game exists. Over half of it happens on basically complete duplicates of the same board over and over again. And, um, most of the tasks involve getting dressed, doing something, talking to Vicky, possibly doing something else, then talking to Vicky again. Vicky being your secretary up in the uh, top left there with the eyelash pixels. The best thing I can say about this game is to... I wouldn't say best thing, I would say most accurate thing. To liken it to a... train wreck. You don't want to stare at it too long, but you just can't look away. Um, just the fact that I played through about five of the seven days of this game was like, why am I wasting my time with this? Um, the music is incredibly repetitive. There is barely any sound. What sound is there? What sound there is is alright, I guess. And, uh, seeing as this is a ZZT conversion, well, the graphics are pretty darn close to ZZT. The story is ridiculous. Um, there is really no reason to actually bother playing this game, to be completely honest. I am playing this game and showing it to you so that you don't have to. If you really want to see the ending to this, be my guest, but be aware that you're going to be wasting your time for something that's probably not worth it anyway. So yeah, my life as a mad scientist is actually not as exciting as it sounds. <laughs>